Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is a little cooler, at least net for now. Hi, it's a man, you've been rolling? You've been rolling? Oh, you're so itchy. I know. He's like, scratch my eyes. <laughs> He's such a loving boy. What is on your face? Ha, Penny Pickle, you ready? You ready to go out for breakfast? Yeah. Everybody's so excited. It clearly rained here last night. It did not rain at our new house. It was supposed to rain, but it didn't. The tack room is looking dirty <laughs> and also empty-ish, not really. We have a horse show this weekend, not this weekend, but next weekend, so I don't wanna move all of our tack and stuff until I know what we're doing. See, this is the girls' communal stall, technically. This is where we keep them all the time. Penny needs a little bit of a brush. <laughs> Do you mind if I brush you while you eat your breakfast? She still sheds. That's what's annoying. Like watch. Well, sometimes, sometimes there's like, see, do you guys see it? A lot of hair coming out. See, look. She sheds always. Anyway, it was, we were supposed to get this huge rain yesterday and we didn't, uh, but obviously we did here. It was supposed to be through the night. It's supposed to be 30 degrees again today, but the heat wave's supposed to be over. So hopefully that just means that the humidity is not as bad. Do you spray them with bug spray before they go out? Yeah. Aww. I love that. That's for my girl too. The baby really needs it. Oh. And Storm. Oh, there we go. She's like, what are you spraying on me? All right, you look a little better. But look at that. Look how big she looks. She's such a big horse. I mean, she's not big like Chino, but she's, she's a stocky girl. You're a stocky girl, Penny Pickle. Yeah. Oh. She's like, what is that? All right, let me get your fly mask. I've been wanting to show you guys how Penny puts on her fly mask, but I can't film and put it on, so I, and I got Gab, Sophie to help. Okay. Normally, normally she just shoves her head forward, like she just puts her head forward, but you can kind of still see like she doesn't mind it. And the, another thing I like about this, she rolled two days ago, I think, and the eyes were all covered, thank you, and the eyes were all covered in dirt when I came in the night to put her in. And so I just washed it, like stuck it in some water and rubbed it for a second and it came clean. I know I keep talking about them, the fly masks, but the thing is, is that I've never liked fly masks before. Like I don't like making the horses uncomfortable because of flies. <laughs> uh oh, hold on, get off, the, get off the rope. I did a mistake, Penny, back up for a sec. Okay, hold on. Hold on, we have to wait because Sophie's getting the baby. But anyways, these are the first fly masks that we've ever had and I didn't believe in them before, but they're the first ones that our horses enjoy having on. It saves them from the flies and they're comfortable. Like I would rather my horses have flies on them than be uncomfortable and hot for an entire day. These actually are amazing. The only one that doesn't have one is the baby because it's too long for her. Like I sewed it so it would be tighter, but it's too long for her face covers her nose. All right, that's it. I don't have any treats, sorry. I'll take a treat. She's still dirty, but I did my best. She's waiting for me to scratch her. I know, She. I miss her horses, you guys. Like, usually I don't come first thing in the morning, but I had to come today because I miss them so much. Like, I wondered before, like, is there life without horses? I need to re-message the farrier. I messaged her a couple days ago and she hasn't got back to me yet. Oh, storm too. But I literally could never live without them. Look at all the spots on her belly. <laughs> They're really <laughs> rubbing in those grass stains. No, sit. I said oh. sit. And <laughs> Sophie said sit and she stayed down. <laughs> oh my god. Nope, nobody ran today. <laughs> I literally said no sit. <laughs> and then she sat. Look at her little butt. 
She's got a big belly. Penny's taking the long road. She likes to go off onto her own. She doesn't feel peaceful when she's close to Storm. And Gracie, so she always moves far away from Storm. And Gracie always positions herself between the baby and Storm. So wherever the baby is, that's where Gracie has to position herself. She's always close to Storm so that she can make sure that he's... She watches Storm more than she watches the baby. I guess that's the best way to explain it. She makes sure that he's never near her baby. All right, slow boy. <laughs> He's like, I see the dog. Where's my girl? Oh, you need your food bucket, honey. Sorry. <laughs> Go! Something new? Look at how cute that neck is. He's like, Aaron, I'll just stay here. Hello, did you miss us? No, what? Fine. Is something wrong? Horses talk. Oh, you know why? He's smelling us. He's like, I know something's going on. You guys do not smell like this Thank house. You. He's gonna try any day. Anyway, what I meant before was like, I've thought about like life without horses. Like one day the girls will be big and they'll be moved on and like, what will life be like? And just being like at the other house and not having them like to look out the window and see them and just have them there. Oh, it's been awful. It's just been awful. So there is no life after horses. And I know some of you guys have messaged me and said like I had horses long ago. I don't know how you do it. Like you teleported. What? You went out there and you're back in here. <laughs> what? You went out there <laughs> and then you're back in here. You thought I teleported? Yes, you did teleport. I need to make more of this. It's so okay. nice bug spray. Yeah, go ahead. Thank I you for spraying. Thank you for spraying the horses before they go out. Willow and Gina don't need it. They're not so last night when the girl, when they came to put the horses in, we come later now because we're trying to keep them on grass as long as we can so that they can get used to it before they have to be on grass. He wanted to come in. He was the only one. <laughs> He's like, yeah. let me in. So I missed them coming in last night because I was asleep. And I actually took a photo and look, it's a pretty good photo. Oh, I love that. So I feel like... Like yesterday I got heat exhaustion. In fact, I still don't feel perfect, oddly. I feel like a bit tired. I feel tired. I, it could be just because <laughs> I've been working a lot. Like yesterday was grueling. I didn't show it all, but it was yeah, grueling. Yeah, imagine me doing that and cleaning stalls in the morning. Yeah, well, you're doing it today. Yeah, I do that. Like, I, I, we're almost done with the uh, barn getting the hay out that's been the worst job you guys like the absolute worst job like i had no idea it would be like that it's so bad it's like mucking a thousand stalls in the heat a thousand stalls like this is awful I already cleaned too. yeah honey's it's gotten messy honey's gotten messy yes she poops too much <laughs> and she pees too much now <laughs> She's grown up. Our baby, I know, Storm is messy. Anyway, um, the blessing about us moving slowly, like we set this move up so that we could move over a long period because we knew that we wanted to take time and we knew that like being able to see, being able to be there and see things before the horses move over has helped us a lot. Like being able to have the time to get that hay out of there. Oh man, thank God for that. Like it's gonna, it's gonna be done today. It'll be three days that we worked on that hay and it's been a lot of work. Communal stall in the barn, that big area in the barn. I want one of those big, huge, giant fans. Have you seen them? They're really loud, but I love those things. And I think it would benefit the horses because like when we put our horses in the stall in summer, we always give them a fan. I feel like the horses in front of it yeah i think they would too and i think that's amazing like we've learned a lot about horses since we got horses and they like comfortable things and just like our dogs they have dog beds all throughout our house they all have a dog bed but they all go up to sophie's room the room that we i don't want them in because there's carpet and they all lay on her floor because they love the carpet animals like comfort just the way that people do Room. It's not just regular like it's Molly here. It's not just an area rug. It's like carpet like thick plush carpet And my dog falls asleep and she's in such a deep sleep 
that she doesn't realize I leave, so I have to tap her, and then she's like, what? what? <laughs> I know. I took a picture of her yesterday when all the dogs were getting ready to. I said, I said, let's go outside, and all the dogs jumped up, and there was Daisy still sleeping. I'll put the picture in right here. We are still moving stuff slowly but surely. Sam wants to take a break for the weekend. Weekends are holidays. He wants to take a break. That doesn't mean stop working on our farm, but he wants to have everything moved over really soon, even though we have like a long time still before we have to have everything moved over. We're gonna I'm gonna give you a little tiny tour of Gabby's um, bedroom setup. You guys saw her unfinished bedroom. It's not finished. We're gonna get a rug for here. Do you want a rug? No. I think she should get a rug. And we're gonna hang some stuff up. We just haven't got that far. We're still working on the outside, but let's show you where she put everything. All right, Gabby, show us. Let's show us around your room. Oh yeah. yeah. First of all, why? Ellie, get out. <laughs> okay. Oh, so, Ruby, where are you going? <laughs> okay. So first of all, how come your lights are orange? Your lights are orange. I gave you that bag just for Molly. If you give them all away, you're not going to have any. Yeah, Daisy can't have those. Okay, so show us around. Okay, um, our bed. So this is her bed. I would love her to give you a demonstration of how she makes her bed and then how she gets in her bed because it is crazy. But this is her bed and she has it a very specific way. She sleeps in a very specific way that is hilarious. But that's her bed, her that's, night table. That's where Molly sleeps. This is where Molly put sleeps. Her bed there because she was laying there. All right. So how does Molly like sleeping down in the basement with you? She Wait. hates it, but yeah. she's eating. All right. So what happened last night? This is her toy. This is her toy. Kathy's trying to bribe her. No, I played with her down mm. here last mm. night. So she likes so, it a bit better. In our old house, she used to sleep beside Sam on the floor on her dog bed, and she's having a really hard time. Ellie's trying to sneak down here. Ellie, get. He's crying. Is she crying? Mm -hmm. So um, then last night she went upstairs and hid under our bed at bedtime. <laughs> yeah, we had to come and drag her down. But then did she accept her fate? Yeah. She accepted her fate. I was asleep. Yeah, it was funny. I went to bed last night at eight o'clock and I even woke up for that. <laughs> anyway, we got her some pig's ears so that she can have something fun to chew on her bed when she comes down at night so she gets used to it so there's gabby's bed and her she's fan it's fine. way colder down here gabby are you finding it hot at night yes because of the she's heat wave yeah, yeah so she got okay so what else you got going on um big open area then we got my shelf okay big open area which we don't know what we're gonna do i think she should put a couch personally daisy <laughs> she herself. sees herself that's what she always does though <laughs> dalmatians are funny all right, so did you get anything new for your shelf? That's my shelf. Uh, Last I night. Got this. Yesterday, she got a package. Yesterday. Another Timu package. It's a cat in a shark costume. Oh my god, Anya. And she got Anya, which is one of her favorite um, manga characters. Anime. Oh, I said it right. So Anime. show them this, though. This is adorable. It's a cat wearing a shark costume, and it's adorable. So she got that, and that is on her stuffy wall. Are we going? Yeah, we're gonna go. Okay, so then we have another. Not very many books, but. She's wanting more books. Like, it's just waiting for them to come in and waiting for us to be able to find them. Do you hear her? No. <laughs> just leave her there. Allie, let her stay on the stairs. She's crying. Does this happen to you guys? Do your dogs just lay and enjoy their lives or do they follow you everywhere you go? We can't walk anywhere. Like if I get up to go pee, 17 dogs get up and go pee. Like the dogs follow us everywhere. Technically okay. four, because we only have four. Feels like 17 when they're in the bathroom with you. Mm -hmm. there. Just wait, so she put a plant up there and she's got three more, two more plants. I think she should put them all up there because it actually looks super cute. See, it almost looks like, like it's lit up. So her dresser, okay. Mirror. Her mirror. Uh, TV. Her TV. I didn't know where to put these because there was a spider on my shelf. So I couldn't get Is there still a spider on your shelf? No, it was above my shelf. I killed it. 
I know, so I couldn't get to it though. Oh, well you can put them away there. Show them those books. We found them in the basement. This is Dad's Are notebook. This is dad, her dad's old notebook, and he never really wrote in it. So she kept it. And then this was a really, really old book that Sam had. He kept. Grey's Anatomy. It's called Grey's Anatomy, the classic, the classic what? Collector's edition. Yeah, so it's all about medical stuff, but and way it back. It has colors, too. Yeah, yeah, but it's old. It's old and it has colors. Yeah, it's super cute. So anyway, it's a collector book. Wow, it's beautiful. It's like a beautiful old book. Your poor dog. You don't mom. find them made like that anymore. She's crying. She's so sad. <laughs> We're coming, Ellie! Hi, Ellie! <laughs> Gabby doesn't let Ellie in her room, and it's okay. It's her room. We're coming! Ellie, are you so sad? Okay, so let's show them the rest, and let's go. Yeah. I like Ellie not coming down when Gabby tells her because she needs rules. Like, she, I like that she actually listens, and she's paying attention, and, and she's following rules, because Gabby's better at rule setting than me. All right, let's finish this tour because we got things to do and people to see. Places to go and people to do. No. Oh. That's where she keeps her coffee, her iced coffee. This is my bar. This is her bar. She loves it. Have you ever sat here? Uh, that's a giant spider. Oh, I'll kill it. <laughs> Don't say that on the camera because it's Rebecca. See, that's its leg. Where? Right there. That's its leg. It's oh right my there. gosh. Oh yeah. my gosh, can you guys see it? She thinks he's adorable. It's awful. I didn't see okay. it. Okay, so then she has got a microwave. It was just left here, so we just stuck it there. She wants to use it for stuff. It's clean and nice. We still have to see if it works. I'm sure it works. What are you gonna cook in there? You can cook popcorn in there. She said, like, oh, don't put me down. I'm thinking, oh. yo, that's yeah, we need to tell that. Oh, never mind. I thought this was a light, because it lights up at night. <laughs> It's a fire alarm. There's a light flickering. Yeah. All right, so we got the giant spider that I'm gonna kill. A lot of empty cupboards. No. Oh. Air freshener, everybody stand back. Woo, Gabby! I Woo! No fresh what flavor did it's you get? It's not freshener, it's disinfectant spray. Oh, well great, now I'm disinfected. Thanks for that. <laughs> no, I did it too. Did yeah, you too hear your so dog when I went to get her? What did she do? She was crying, she was barking. Do you, do you guys think Ellie is a cute Yorkie? No. All right, she needs a haircut. I need, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give her a haircut. I need a picture frame for this. Before All right. I rip it even more. Okay, I'll get you a picture frame. Yeah. All right, so she's got four cupboards, or two cupboards, however you wanna look at it. She's four. got four cupboards on the bottom. Two. What are two you gonna cupboards. put in there? Two cupboards. Um, and she's got a garbage can. And then this is the freezer, the only freezer we have yeah, in the house. It's a garbage can. It's a freezer. It's a fridge. It's a freezer. We haven't moved over all of our food from our other freezer yet. <laughs> so, you know, I'll whack you with oh. this. Tell me if it's frozen. No, no. Is it frozen? <laughs> Sophia, stop. Sophia. You started it. Let it go. Let it go, Sophia. Sophia. The dogs are like, I want to play too. Sophia. Let's burn it, Gabby. All right, so Gabby, there's a little hook here. You can put a fly swatter and swat all the spiders yourself. I have a fly swatter right there. Oh, well, why don't you hang it out? It is scary. It, there's dead spiders on it. Y'all. We're going to take you guys on a trail, and then we're going to get back to work. <laughs> so my dream is to, like, even when the girls are grown up, if we still live here, is to be able to go for long walks with the dog. Sam's getting a knee replacement and hopefully he'll be back up and walking again. Are you ready, Molly? So this technically is like, Mommy? it's like this space between two farms. Yeah, like there's a farm over here, there's a farm over there. This is like a field in between. Why do that far? And we could put the horses out here if we wanted oh, to. Oh, she lost it. Jesus. They lost the ball already? No, never mind, she found it. Good dog. So we brought this. Drop it. Oh, so we can throw know. the balls. Let's see, who gets it first? Well, it went in a tree. Oh no. Oh no, don't let Daisy get it. Daisy won't. Get it, Molly, get it, get it. Oh, don't get them fighting. Get it, Molly, get it. <laughs> this is what happens when you have four dogs. It's chaos. Look, she brought it back, Sophie. Good girl, tell her good girl. <laughs> it goes up. Oh, into the thorn bush. Into the thorn bush. So the last time we were here, um, Sophie got attacked by these thorn bushes, so I'm gonna cut them. And oh, the I grass see, on the path, Sam had 
bush hogged it. Just wait, don't open it yet. Sam had bush hogged it, but it was still tall, hard to walk through, so I asked him to bring the riding lawnmower down, and he did. Where's my dog? Ellie. Oh, come on, get out of the bush. Come on. Ellie. Ellie, come on, out of the bushes. All right, let's do it. Let's see. Let's time how long this is to walk. It's 1118. Molly. This is our trail. This is one of our trails. This farm actually has a few acres of woods in it, and we've never been in them yet. But I love the trail. So this is what's exciting to me, is that in the fall, this is going to be gorgeous. I get to gallop down. And sit. I know. I can't wait to gallop. Like, um, but you know the drill guy has to ride storm. Yeah, first, first. and Penny. Yeah, no. <laughs> just no. joking. Penny's fine. I know. Did you hear that, Gabby? You got to ride. Ruby's Storm there. down this trail first. Come on. See, my dog has great recall. <laughs> oh, look at the dog. You just call the other dogs back and my dog goes with them. They're funny. Molly. I'll ride Storm down and Pony Chino. All right. Yeah, like Sam says it's long. So it doesn't look that long, but if Sam says it's long. If we this every day, we'd be even more fit. Then, I know. Fit. Molly, we could me. get up and come out here and ride Molly, this in the morning. Good. Gabby just got tripped. People get tripped. Yeah, and horses. So I was gonna bring those, those, oh, yeah. I was gonna bring those clippers with me. Oh. oh. I got it. It's over there now. So we wanted to take a walk down here. Actually, this is like the best weekend for us to go on a trail ride. Take our horses and go on a trail ride. We should do it. We should just bring our horses here, take them for a trail ride. So Sam said if we look at like through the fields, if we walk it and find like a path that we want him to Come cut on. for us, he will. Take it, Mom. So this is all fenced. Oh my gosh, look at how cute. So this is where our fall pictures are gonna oh, be we taken. We need Wi Fi down here. We need Wi Fi down here. No, this is a peaceful family walk. Poison berries. Snake berries. Snake berries. Watch for Sam said. We're not Dad said if we stay on the path, we won't get into any poison ivy. But look, this is the spot. Call the dogs over. I'm gonna take a picture. All right, here we go. Everybody smile. Say cheese. Everybody's so hot. All right, so so far. They're so exciting. So far the path has like been awesome. Like it's so, like this is perfect for horses. I'm not even tired. <laughs> I'm not even tired. When you. It's cause I've been walking It's because, I walking. know. Cause you want dollar bills right now. But you gotta. It's because when you're busy moving and like renting and like getting your farm ready for horses. Man, let me tell you. <laughs> nothing is as taxing as that. Look how short she is. Yeah, she's a shorty. All right, I think we're nearing the end. Yeah. It was a five minute trail, Sam. Five minutes. Five minute walking trail, Sam. When Sam things says things are long, it usually means like they're long. Three second gallop. It's like the walking around our property. Oh, maybe, Ruby, Ruby. maybe it goes more. No, this is the end. It's not a roundabout. <laughs> this is roundabout. Yes, it's a roundabout. Watch. Do, 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 do. Donut. <laughs> it is a donut. It's more like uh I don't know. <laughs> Molly, come on. Anyway, this is it. Molly, this field back here going? is cute. Yeah. I think he should mow back here. A path all the way down there and around there. Um I don't know if that's creepy. Got fields everywhere. Holy moly. Come on, Molly, come, come on. Come on, Molly. Let's go. All right, let's so go when back. we view viewed this house like months ago. It's on a nice path to tire out the dogs. Yeah, it's a nice path to tire out the dogs. But when we viewed this path months ago, uh, the grass was like this. The grass was just coming up, kind of. It was like this. You, you so I could see way. this trail and I could see the vision of it. Like, look how cute. And there's like a couple of hills. <laughs> They're so happy. And filled your mind with doubt. You want to stay chill right now. And don't let your eyes. perfect no, gallop trail. I would walk on storm. You know storm what? This might be how Gabby gets Chino back into work. Like, 
walk, trot down this trail. So five minutes there, five minutes back. It's a 10 minute trail. Uh, That's not bad. Five minute gallop trail. Five minute gallop trail. But actually, if Storm actually put effort in, it would be like a two minute They're gonna love trail. it. How long did it take us? You <laughs> got attacked by the brush that you said wasn't gonna bother you. Well, Molly brought it to me. How many minutes is it gonna, did it take us? It Ooh. took us 12, but we had to minus out the minute that we stood for photos and the minute we stayed at the roundabout, so 10 minutes. Best thing about the trail is that completely private. Like nobody is ever gonna see you there. Nobody's ever gonna see you riding there. Not that it matters, but private as heck. You only see me fall off my storm bus. Yeah. Well, we'll always have people with us for sure. I'm trying to show you guys the way that like, so you guys can get the lay of the land because it's confusing when you watch new vlogs or you watch people vlogging Go on, my dog, and you can't tell where they were come on little girl all right we're gonna go rest now <laughs> just because it's hot and then we're gonna come back out finish this job it's a lot finished oh finished the chicken coop today and if we get them done i will show it at the end of this vlog, but if I don't get it done, this is the end of today's vlog. Don't you know that you're beautiful?